Well, hello there, boys and girls in YouTube land. Bill here, and uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube guitar videos over the years, uh, both on playing technique and learning songs and also uh, gear, and uh, it's really a great resource, and uh, I certainly wish something like that had been around when I was uh, first learning how to play back in my teens. Um, but um, I thought I'd go ahead and give, uh, give it a spin myself, and also as an opportunity to uh, talk about my uh, my new uh, guitar here, which is a um, Dickie Betts model Red Top Les Paul. Um, it was built, I believe, in 2003 or 4. Um, it was when they were made. They were only made about 100 of them. Um, and I uh, did play one back then when they first came out and fell in love with the guitar. And I uh, just had in the back of my mind that one day I wanted to get one. And I uh, uh, finally got an opportunity to get one. And I uh, love the guitar. It plays great. It sounds great. I think it really. Uh, captures that Dickie Betts kind of tone. Uh, a few things about this guitar are kind of unique. One is uh, it's got this kind of metal conch shell sh um, design, uh, pickup selector, also a, a metal um, kind of embossed um, uh, plate where the um, input jack is. And um, it also has um, this tummy cut, which is uh, unusual for a Les Paul. Um, but um, it does make the guitar more comfortable and a little lighter. I don't know um, what the history is as to why they decided to do that. Um, the red top is uh, designed after Dickie Betts' 57 gold top, which he called Goldie and used for many years in the Allman Brothers and also uh, on his, uh, his own band. And um, when they made the model, they made a, a gold top version and they made the red top version. Um, the reason they made the red top version is that uh, at some point, Dickie's uh, 57, um, the gold finish had uh, gotten discolored and chipped, and he um, refinished it in red. So, um, hence the red top. And I'm sure that his original 57 did not have a tummy cut, because <laughs> they didn't make them like that back then. So I don't know why they decided to do that, but other than it's a nice comfort feature, and, uh, uh, and I, I like it. So. Um, uh, why don't we go ahead and, uh, and give it a spin so you can get a, an idea of what it sounds like. So I think it does a really nice job of capturing that Dickie Betts tone. Um, these pickups are not the original pickups. Um, the owner before me had put in some Stumac pickups to replace the uh, original Gibsons, and then I went ahead and changed those to Sheptone Blue Sky humbuckers, which are designed to specifically to get that uh, Dickie Betts kind of tone, and I think they do a good job of that. Uh, another um, piece of gear that I really like in terms of getting that kind of uh, classic Allman Brothers tone is um, this Missing Link Audio uh, Peacock Overdrive. Um, Missing Link uh, Audio makes some really nice pedals uh, and other things that are uh, specifically designed to help you get that uh, kind of classic Allman Brothers tone. Not just Allman Brothers, but certainly um, that's uh, a lot of it. And uh, uh, I'll give you a, a little taste of what that sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there's a little taste of that. And uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you around.